How do butterflies reproduce? Butterflies come in a remarkable variety of different forms and patterns, from the orange-colored majesty of the monarch to the lustrous red and blue patterns of the peacock butterfly. But all of them adhere to the same basic reproduction cycle. They begin life as an egg, hatch into a larva, create a cocoon as a pupa, and finally transform into an adult. This involves a long, difficult process of renewal and transformation, honed throughout many millions of years of evolution. This article will cover some fascinating details about how butterflies reproduce. Does the butterfly reproduce sexually or asexually? The short answer to the question is that all known species of butterflies reproduce sexually most of the time. This is because there are numerous advantages to sexual reproduction. The most important advantage is that it confers enormous genetic variation to the offspring, creating new combinations and varieties that can adapt to new conditions. Individuals with genes best suited to the environment are more likely to survive and reproduce compared to individuals with static genes. The downside to reproducing sexually, of course, is that both a male and a female are required to be present at the same time. This limits the number of offspring that the parents can have. Asexually reproducing animals, by contrast, can create massive numbers of offspring quickly without expending effort on the mating process. Both the honeybee and stick insect reproduce part of the time in this manner. A few butterfly species can reproduce asexually as well, but it's never the main means of reproduction because it comes at the cost of genetic variation. The offspring tend to be clones of the mother. Unfortunately, there is a lot we still don't understand about asexual reproduction in butterflies. How does the butterfly find a mate? The butterfly reproduction cycle usually begins in spring or early summer. This is when the butterflies have returned from their long migration or emerged from the winter hibernation period. The colors and patterns of the wings provide an easy way for males to identify female members of their species. When a male has found a suitable mate, he will usually fly above or below the female and release his chemical pheromones to convey his intentions to mate. He will then follow this up with the performance of an aerial mating dance, unique to each species. Males are so eager to impress a potential mate that sometimes swarms of them will gather around a chrysalis before the female has a chance to emerge. How do butterflies mate with each other? If the female has accepted what the male is offering, she will join him in his elaborate courtship dance. With their relationship now established, they will find a place on the ground or a perch to land and touch their ends together. The male has a specialized clasping organ at the end of his abdomen to keep the female in place. The mating process can last anywhere between a few minutes and a few hours at once. The male will then transfer a substance called spermatophore to the female's body. It consists of packages of sperm and enough nutrients for the female to fertilize and lay the eggs. These nutrients are so important to the mating process that the male will often spend extra time gathering food to produce higher quality spermatophore. The female may mate with just one or sometimes multiple partners per season. But the male, who may die a few weeks after mating, has a few different strategies to ensure that his sperm will triumph over those of his male rivals. To prevent the female from mating with anyone else, the male will sometimes spray her with an off-putting scent. Some species also can plug the female's opening to stop more sperm from entering. However, even after mating is completed, fertilization doesn't happen immediately. The female can store the sperm inside of a special sac called a bursa until she is ready to give birth. The butterfly reproduction cycle usually begins in spring or early summer. This is when the butterflies have returned from their long migration or emerged from the winter hibernation period. The colors and patterns of the wings provide an easy way for males to identify female members of their species. When a male has found a suitable mate, he will usually fly above or below the female and release his chemical pheromones to convey his intentions to mate. He will then follow this up with the performance of an aerial mating dance, unique to each species. Males are so eager to impress a potential mate that sometimes swarms of them will gather around a chrysalis before the female has a chance to emerge.